Hello everyone, Chris here, and welcome back to the city of Gversk, our model city in a fictional Soviet republic. It's been a while, it's been a while since we recorded a video for City Skylines. I had actually thought, and I think I mentioned this on one of the videos for Workers and Resources, which is a series that we've got going uh, elsewhere, that I had feared that Gversk had died. Um, the save itself seemed to not load at all. Turns out, thankfully, it was uh, an issue with my computer, not with the game at all. So, Gversk lives. Gversk lives. Um, and so we're continuing it. It's been about a month or so since the last video. Um, and we're working on uh, the administrative block of the city. I say the administrative block because that was my intent for this area. And whilst I do have a few buildings down there which in my head canon act as administrative buildings, it very much turns into a a park area with a war memorial in the centre. A very decorative uh, administrative area. So we start with these buildings though. I absolutely love them. You'll have to forgive me, I cannot remember uh, the names of them. But they, I believe it's some form of school in California. In the end, however, I do combine it with, uh, there is a lovely asset of the Institute of Robotics, which is in St. Petersburg in Russia, and I do combine it using the uh, procedural object mod uh, to create a very odd looking building. And then I, I was looking at images of uh, all kinds of um, socialist modernism and, and landmarks in the old, old Soviet bloc, and I went back to Berlin because I always find that East Berlin has some fascinating architecture when it comes to um, how they planned out the, the city in the early days of the GDR. Um, and in Trep Tower Park, for those who are unfamiliar with that side of the city, um, there is a wonderful Soviet memorial um, sat upon a mount in the, in the middle of this park and it's really large and decorative and it looks great. And I was thinking, my gosh, wouldn't it be just absolutely wonderful to, to build something similar? So um, so that's what we go for. The, the statue on the top is, I believe, a statue that's from Poland? I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I spend a good while just trying to make this perfect mount. I have procedural object stairs, which took me absolutely forever to try and get correct. Um, <laughs> but we create this, this, this mount that becomes this real centerpiece, I guess. For this this park um like trep tower park then itself i wanted this almost like grand avenue of, of a tree-lined avenue to to frame this mount um and that's what we begin to put down here working with uh, various walls we start to frame this 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 statue um eventually what i will do um and I don't know if you will see it in the video because I may have cut it, uh, I will lower the height of those walls so they look a little bit more like raised curbs. Um, and then in the middle as well, we put some more flower beds in, in the middle. Although they don't turn out to be flower beds, we actually fill them with decorative urns uh, that I got off the Steam Workshop. Um, I believe it's for a set of park assets for a park that's in Dnipro in the Ukraine. Um, as with everything then, I find that framing everything with hedges seems to seems to work <laughs> wonders. Um, so this is what I spent a good while doing, just framing everything to make it to make it look look good. Eventually, as you'll see, we will fill the the middle of these these central uh, blocks anyway with um, a procedural object that looks like a very well kept lawn. Um, and elsewhere, I actually found a, a decal that um, shows that, that, that shows a, a well-kept lawn. Just there, if you missed it, accidentally uh, used the uh, parallel roll, uh, road tool to lay uh, <laughs> to lay a hedge. So had to had to spend a bit of time just stopping that from going wrong. But yeah, everything getting framed by hedges. It seems to be a recurring thing in this video. Um, but I hope you'll see as we go forward. Uh, that it actually makes everything look that little bit more ornate and a little bit prettier. So putting down these these paths, I was really I didn't know what to make of these paths. I I, I like 
this circular path that I'm now putting round, which is kind of like a cobbled stone uh, garden path. But the the grey the grey pathway that I put down, I do actually cover it with um, with some other tiles because there was just something about it that I didn't like the look of. I don't like how um, on corners there was no tile; it didn't cover 100% of the area. Um, so we do cover that eventually, um, but again, we, we do. I also, and I have cut this out, put curbs down. The curbs, I as I said in the ho uh, in the hospital video, sorry, really do, especially when you turn up the resolution for cinematics. They really do define these areas quite nicely. Define the space between grass and path. Um, so I have put curbs down there. And again, it's just a matter of framing everything with these hedges, uh, which I, I don't know, it just, just seems to give things a really ornate look. Eventually then, what you'll see is that the, the, the hedges... I haven't included every single placement of hedges because that would just be very boring for a video. But we do uh, have them wrap around the, the whole area of this little little park. And in a minute when administration buildings go down in the sides to the left and right of this central, uh, central I don't know, park, let's call it, M memorial park, um, we, we, we surround them with hedges as well to create a kind of like fenced off work environment. Um, but yes, the more and more I've looked at cities in the uh, in, in 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 the east of Europe, um, the the poplar tree is very popular. Oh, that was horrible, um, and using them to to frame these uh, avenues is something that I've seen in countless amounts of research. So you will see them throughout the city so much. Um, and I'm never, I'm never getting bored of them just yet. Pine trees as well. There's some really, really good, um, really good quality trees on the workshop that are low uh, tries count, which is great for for me on my um, little laptop that isn't the most powerful. Um, that was one of my fears when I thought we'd lost Gavusk forever after losing. Um, after the damage that was the Chernigrick save, where everything went wrong and, and some of the assets broke, um, I didn't want to lose another Soviet city. And so when it wasn't loading up, I did fear the worst, and I started thinking through what can I get rid of? Is it because there's too many high, high processed assets that I've downloaded? Turns out, actually, the update that to the computer fixed everything, and it's it's now faster than ever. Um, this was the, the part I was saying then about putting the tiles down. Uh, I hope, and I think you'd agree, they look a lot better than the um, than the standard like grey one that was down. Uh, it makes, I don't know, it, it's a nicer colour anyway in my head. And so we're now moving on to these administration buildings. Now, I found these on the Steam Workshop. They're actually um, residential buildings from... Toulouse in France, and I forget the name of the person on the workshop who made them, but they're wonderful. They're they're singular Y-shaped buildings, as you can see, but they fit together great. Um, I fit them together in, in a in a more of a diamond pattern, which isn't how they actually are in 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 France. But fitting them together like this, I thought created a very odd-looking building that could serve as an uh, administration building, and I mirrored them on both sides because. I seem to be obsessed with symmetry um, in this in this city. I don't know how realistic that is to um, to a, a I don't know a Soviet city, but I kind I like the look. I like how it ends up. So um, I hope you hopefully if it isn't realistic uh, and, and and doesn't quite match how I don't know a Soviet city would look, you'll forgive me on this one instance. So yes. Framing again the buildings with with hedges. We also then plant eventually a a nice little set of trees in there, and we create this little office space. Um, again, in my head canon, this is a this is the administrative centre of the city. This is these are office buildings. They're near the Palace of Culture, 
Um, but I kind of... I, I named all these areas before thinking what they were going to really look like. And, and, and obviously, as you build, the city changes how it looks. So I kind of like this central block we're building in the city now, where there's this almost um, parallel set. That, that runs all the way through the city, a parallel set of roads that then in the middle has all these interesting buildings and then around the outskirts you have where people live. Um, I, I do really like how this turns out and when we show the cinematics at the end um, you'll see what I mean in terms of how the city looks from above now um, and I'm very excited then. Uh, to, to get on with the next stage is going to be across the road from this and the commercial centre and the commercial centre I'm thinking we maybe we'll have it's uh, sorry it's commercial and R&R &R sector um, and so we, we can maybe have some sports facilities there um, parks who knows I spent a little bit of time off camera and then and changed the road layout around here to create this sort of um sort of roundabout, a central roundabout, and then imported this uh, this this war memorial because I felt the 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 I don't know the long parkway here, this avenue I guess, um, really needed another focal point. Um, it's it's a wonderful again a wonderful asset that's off the Steam Workshop and and what you may have seen is that I used it the procedural objects mod to. Um, just lower some of the other parts of the, the asset below ground so we just kept this central um, monument. Again, framing it with hedges because that's what we like to do. But the result I think is, is really, really good. And I have actually done a little bit beyond this video and the bit that's gonna, that is across the road from it, the commercial and R&R &R centre, um, hopefully you will agree that it is, um, I don't know, it is a wonderful part of the city. Again, putting tiles down. Just, yeah, and then painting underneath with the uh, with, with the, the surface painter. Uh, just to get rid of those grass sprites. There is a mod that gets rid of the grass sprites. I cannot remember what it's called, so if you remember or know what it is please leave a comment below uh, because I would really appreciate finding that rather than having to to paint over everything um, not that I mind too much I guess it's all part and parcel of the of making these these cities Again, then framing everything with 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 trees. Um, it's I don't know. I, I really really do like how this this area has ended up. Um, across the way from from where this is, then just as a sneak peek for for what's coming next. Um, there is a like a at the moment anyway. I could change my mind and delete it, but there is a like a central bus park I guess where where a lot of the buses come in and and meet and it, it I don't know it just really gets a really nice feeling of a central part of the city what we're building here then these hedges and flower beds we actually put a uh, memorial uh, a statue of a soldier in in both using the procedural objects mod to create a like a, a stone pillar and then putting the statue on top um, it looks it looks fun. I like it. I really do. So yeah, what would you like to see next is the question really. Obviously I'm, I'm thinking of doing this commercial bit, but is there sections of the city, is there things that we should be including in here that, that I've, I've missed? Um, we do, someone in the comments of a previous video suggested putting more garages in. Um, and I'm always up for that, especially seems as the the number of cars travelling around this city is pretty unrealistic compared to how many people had personal cars in the, the Soviet Union. Um, they were much rarer, but the, the city skylines doesn't really have the facilities to um, decrease the number of traffic. 
uh, on the road, so um, it just happens. We just have lots of cars going around. Um, so maybe more garages is something. Um, I want to build a bit of a sports arena. I've actually made a sports arena, and I'm not sure if we've seen it anywhere in here. It was a, a, an asset that I tried my hand at at Blender. I'm still not that very good. Um, but I'm wondering if I can maybe play with that in the procedural objects mod and, and change it up a little bit. But this is the finished result, and I mean, I really, really like this central part. I really love that mount. I really love how the slight change in colour of the grass as the hill rises up makes it stand out. And I think, and I hope you would agree, that this is a really cool part of the city. The, the fountains uh, in front of the administration buildings really are nice. Let me know what you think, what you think of this of this city, and what you think of this part. Um, yes, let me know as well what you want to see next. Thank you, as always, for your support and watching these videos. I'm sorry that it was so long, from the last one to this. Um, and I, 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 fingers crossed, the next one will not be so long. Um, although we do also have workers and resources to keep us going, um, and that is a game I'm loving. If you've not watched that series yet, and you've only cared about City Skylines, please give that a watch, because workers and resources, whilst a different beast, is also a heck of a lot of fun, and we're playing that in a different way, rather than these um, best-ofs, I guess, for City Skylines. It's actually a let's play for, for workers and resources. So yes, while the last bits of cinematics play out, um, if you do have any suggestions, anything you want to see, please put them in the comments below. My Twitter is also there if you want to have a chat about, gee, anything really, this game or, or likewise. And if you like what you see and you've not yet watched the other videos, or heck, you've not subscribed to this to this channel, please like this video and, and click subscribe. It really does mean a lot. Um, I really enjoy showing you guys this stuff and I really appreciate all your feedback, um, constructive and also, I don't know, positives. Um, so yes, thank you very much for watching. Please stay safe out there, have yourselves a good week and I will see you in the next one when we tackle the commercial and R&R &R district.